Hello, Misty Vale here again with another Ranch of Rivershine playthrough. Let's see where we go today. This is, again, a new save. I've only like nine, yeah, nine days into this one. So, I'm sure you've been training hard. I'm going to talk to you about how you can improve your sessions even more. All right. River. Let's go find the river after we do some little foraging. So right now I have about $8,700, um, most of which I've got from, <clears throat> excuse me, I should have gotten some water, um, foraging, selling my crops, and races. Um, I don't, no, I haven't bred on this one. I've, I have three playthroughs, so I get confused on what I've done with what. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. Yes, I am. <laughs> so these are my little crops. Um, <clears throat> I was using my other new playthrough to kind of work through what was, how things were going to go and stuff, um, over the weekend. Um, but thank everybody for all the views, serendipity, thank you for the, the sub, I appreciate it. Um, very, very grateful. My channel's been popping and I didn't know there was such a interest in Rancher of Rivershine, so I'm very grateful for everybody who even stops by for a few minutes. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to try and keep these short, because I know YouTube, nobody wants a four-hour video on Rancher of Rivershine watching me race horses. Um, so I'll just break it up into little, little things, and if we ever get big enough, then I'll do some live streams. Um, I came from Twitch, so I'm used to doing live streams, but I haven't done them in several months. Um, Alright, so let me go around here. <clears throat> and the spots you see me gathering are the general spots where you will find almost every time, if not every day, every other day, you'll find some forageable in these areas. So you can mark them down, look at them. You know, rewind the video, hey kids. Um, cool. Now I have to remember what horses I have because, like I said, I was playing another game, so I don't remember my horses. <laughs> uh, it's the problem of being an alcoholic, man. You can't keep who's what straight. All right, so I got my boy here. He still got 24 potential. He's got some halfway decent stats, but he could use some more training. Um, I do recommend doing some kind of, oh, that's right. These are the one I had two black, two black horses. All I got was two, was, was black horses. And I was like, um, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll do it. <clears throat> Want to breed them. I end up breeding them and I get a done or something. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Not that it's not impossible, but yeah. All right, so get her. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize for rest. She definitely needs some training. She's new. I think I had bought her at the end. Yeah, her endurance is like nine. That is horrible. So we're gonna buy some Milo. Uh, actually, we're gonna buy some of all, like two or three of all of these, um, to try and get these stats up. Because damn, girl. Um, I'm going to use coal and do some races and talk to River and, um, see what we can do. Visit River to learn more about how to improve your horse's training. Okay, I think she's going to talk about the grains that I was just showing you. So, training bonus, yes. Um, again, there is no specific area right now that is open where you can um, get extra boosts for flexibility like lupine meadow you get an extra boost of speed when you're in there and pine forest is an extra boost of excuse me of an endurance so if I gave um, my mayor barley which I think is the endurance screen um, I would then take her to the pine forest and just run her around and you would get like a double boost because you already get the one boost for being in the area and then you get the second boost um, if I remember right from the grain 
So that's peachy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am so sorry about my voice. <sighs> just one of those things. Just when you want to do something, your voice decides not to cooperate. It was so funny. I was doing this on my other my other save, and my horse liked me so much that he followed me up the stairs and into River's room. I was a little embarrassed. I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, this is about the grains. Focus training on a specific skill. They will double your horse's skill for the day, so be mindful what type of grain. Um, oh, good. She's, I don't have to buy it. She's going to give me a little bit of grain. Yay! Corn for speed, barley for endurance, milo for flexibility, and wheat for jump. Now, you, like she said, you can only do it once a day. You can't do barley in the morning and wheat in the afternoon. So one day for barley, one day for milo, one day for wheat. You can. Yeah, just, <laughs> sorry. I'm getting ahead of her. Um, sure, we can have him doing all those cranes once a day. He'll just be a little hyperactive. A little too much energy. Okay, let's see if we can get a race I've don't think I've opened up anything but the town race. Yeah, I was going through, like I said, on my other save, and it was a little challenging. I'd forgotten um, how challenging some of the races can be. Oh, wait. He's going. Wait, what is your... She's got 24 potential, but I don't think we've done 10 races. But let's see... Okay, not quite yet. We're probably at seven, eight, or nine. Alright, so have we done? No, we did do Lupine Meadow. For some reason, Loop. Is it Lupine Meadow? So Lupine Meadow is 11.50. No, I haven't done Pine Forest yet. And then let's do Lupine Meadow. We haven't actually done it on Cole. Oh, yes, we have. 136. Okay. That should be plenty. Oh, sorry, I'm a scatterbrain sometimes. Alright, don't need to see that. Okay, so excuse me while I concentrate here. Just a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me, what was that? My goodness. My body makes all sorts of weird noises. It's like, oof. My throat's trying to choke my help me. And at the moment, Boots the Kitty is not in the room. She has just finished dinner and she is chilling with my mom. But I'm sure she'll be in here shortly. <laughs> She's a sweet cat. She really is. She's a good girl. She just likes to get attention no matter if it's good or bad. She doesn't care. And then my palm ski. I have a white palm ski. Two palm skis actually. Um, my white one, Sunshine. I'm like, Boots! Here comes Sunny. Who needs to be disciplined? Let me at her. <laughs> she won't hurt Boots, but she'll, she'll try and discipline her and put her um, put her head down on top of her like, you're naughty, stop it. <laughs> so Sunny is effectively the sun, the fun police. And the sun police, but the fun police. <laughs> She's a nut. Okay, yay, 11.50. 50 we didn't have. Alright, ooh. Now let's see. Nope, still not. <laughs> I get so confused. Alright, so, um, actually, oh, let's see here. I can feed him a snack. Yep, I can feed him a snack. We can do the River Shine race and get another thousand. Maybe. I love how I'm just doing it bareback. There should be an achievement. Most of these, the, the way the quests go, most of them go pretty, you only have like a couple of days where you don't have quests, which is fine. 
Um, as you progress later, when you start like the intermediate and advanced races, sometimes it'll go like four or five days and you don't have a quest and everybody's like, oh my god, what's going on? But it's just letting you train your horses and get, you know, do what you got to do, settle into a routine and whatnot. So you don't have to um, worry that the quest is broken or something's wrong. <laughs> Some days after, like I said, after, uh, in between beginning and intermediate, the, there'll be a, a longer stretch. And the same with the advanced and the experts. And it's fine. Um, Eloise uh, is going to be working on more animations and more, you know, everything else. But right now she's just starting, trying to get the next, um, uh, not expansion, but... Uh, the next patch, good. the next patch out, um, and it's supposed to be kind of big, so she's um, working really, really hard. But like I said, join the Discord for Rancher Rivershine. You can find it on Steam, or just go on Discord for Rancher Rivershine. And um, she's really good. She's always listening, even if she doesn't respond all the time. She's always listening to what everybody's talking about, and writing down suggestions and saying, oh yeah, we can, you know, sometimes she'll even chime in. Yeah, we can do that, absolutely. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the list or no, that's not even a possibility. Like we were, everybody was asking for multiplayer and she's like, mm, no, this is meant to be a single player game. So I'm sorry, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, one thing I will say, uh, when you get to wanting to breed, um, it will be difficult to get him to get her to get the mare pregnant if the trust level on both horses is not up. So if it says you have a 60% or a 70% chance, or sometimes even a 79% chance, and the horse's trust is only at like 15%, that's why. The higher the trust, from what I've read and seen, the higher the trust is, the faster the breeding will be. I'm not saying it can't happen at 78% or 70%, but it, it might take a couple of days uh, in the fertility pen. Um, and this is one way by leading. Um, when you're going to get your forageables, if you want to run around your farm and lead your horse, this is one way they trust you. The other way you get them to trust um, is using the soft brush. And another way is winning races. Um, those three things increase the trust. Yes, chick chick. Those three things increase the trust um, on horses. I keep thinking that dang chicken because it's red is an apple. <laughs> but no, here's the apple. Um, there are also, like I said, you can see all the places that I'm going in, in harvesting forageables. Those are usually every day or every other day. There's something in these places. Always a good idea to check. Sometimes they don't have the little diamonds coming up, like some of the carrots or the um, apples. Like you can see this one in the distance is an apple, but sometimes there'll be two or three of them there and only one's glowing. There's always two or three things um, back here usually this time there's only one there's usually one here and there's usually or sometimes there's one right in here and then you can see the straw up front here there's usually one or two here okay so we're gonna get back on we've pretty much come on <laughs> let's go visit George and the shops don't ever really close, so if you see George isn't in his shop, you can go to his home, and you just look up on, on the map. I'll show you. So, George is in his shop. Yep, George Robertson. But if you pull on the map, this is George's home, this is Madeline's home. Um, if they're ever not in their shop, you can always go to their home and... Um, like I have this, you can just type that number in and sell um, carrots. I'm gonna sell six um, manure. I'm gonna sell that. 
I'm not going to sell the apples because I use them a lot. I don't need to really buy anything, so we're good. But yeah, just track them down in their homes. And the same with the lady who buys this, who buys and sells the seeds, uh, uh, Aisha, I think her name is, and the same river, um, Liam, the the guy who who builds all your stuff. All of them. You can just go go to go find them at home and bother them. It's fine. So I'm not going to train this one, this guy, even though he needs some. I'm going to train um, the mayor because she's not. She could probably do a race, but we're not going to do it. Not today. Oops. Oh, um, let me brush him. So his trust is pretty good, because it'll say that that's the 10%. Well, actually, wow, his trust is at 40%. So I thought this was 10, but maybe that is 25, because it's these are all 25, like these right here, these little diamonds. Um, so maybe that's what it is. OK, never mind. So his trust is, is pretty good, 40. Um, hers is probably not, because I have not worked with her. So I want to, what was her, her, her endurance was nine. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to do barley. And then we're going to take her, yeah, her trust is at 6%. So, okay, you don't have to like let them finish the bowl. <laughs> so fine forest is back this way. So we're going to do a little training session. And the easiest way to do this, because she basically needs everything, I'm not going to focus on the jump for this thing, but because I gave her the the grain, I'm going to do the, the dizzy training, which is use the WASD keys, meaning I hit my left alt button once I get in there. I use the D key, I find an open area, and I go in a circle, um, starting at the trot. Then I'll go to uh, the gallop, and then before the energy runs out, I go back to... Oh my god, are you kidding? I keep forgetting. I'm a dodo bird. I'm a dodo bird. Okay. We'll go. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> my brains are mush right now. Alright, I'm sorry. Normally you would go there and do that. But since Misty is a dodo, <laughs> we're going to go back here. Oy vey. Oy, my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> no worries. We can do it here. There's a nice, there's all these open fields we can do it in. Alright, so I'm going to hit my alt. I'm going to hit my D key. I'm going to go around here. This is, if this makes anybody dizzy, I'm really, really sorry. Let's see, we've already got one point in endurance. Got another point in endurance. Now I'm going to slow down to a Increase this so she can get her speed up as well. Let that bar. Whoops, see, there you go. Point in each. And we're going to gallop again. And this is just what I do. You can get a rock if you want and do this if you have something to do. Or if you want to do it like at the trot and just work on flexibility until she doesn't have anything and put a rock or something. Oops, lost. Like this. And just let that bar fill up. A lot of people put something heavy on the key and just let it, just let it keep circling. Um, and you know, go do chores and then come back and stuff. So we got another thing over there. Okay. For some reason, the system just keeps the button doesn't want to work. You guys have got another point in flux. Oops, that was not what I intended to do. Yeah, we're just having a day. <laughs> so we're just going to hold it at a try. See if we can get one more, eke one more point of flexibility. Nope, no more points. Okay, so then we stop. 
And we'll check. So the speed is at 20. Endurance is now at 14 from 9. Uh, we did not work on jump because her jump is 19. So flex is 15. She still has 30 potential. Um, and so we're pretty good. I could give her another um, treat and let her go, but I'm not going to. Um, oops. Come on. Yeah, so this video is just playthrough with me rambling and anything that um, I can remember that I can give you to help uh, your gameplay. I will give you. Um, done? No, I'm just going to go to bed because I don't think I have any open slots for... Let's see. Oh. Okay, so she's noticing the statue is glowing. Talk with Madeline. The mysterious statue is glowing. And if you haven't heard me talk about it before, then I won't say anything. We'll discover it through playthrough. And then the glorious sun comes up. That is such a neat effect. And you can see the sun setting, too. Look at all the, the plants start showing a little sun. It's so cute. Yeah. Super cool. Alright, let's clean the stables. And you can, like I said, you can put them out to pasture. That's not a big deal. You guys got dirty. Oh my goodness. What the heck, man? Why'd you get so dirty? Why are you rolling around in the stall again? You didn't have any straw left. You ground it up. Some food. <laughs> I love when they put their ears back. My instant response is, don't you put those ears back at me, young lady. When I was much younger, I worked with horses and um, worked on a, a horse farm for about two and a half years. Wait, did I just do that? Yeah, I guess we're going to go talk with Madeline and then try and do a, uh, the city, uh, the town race. Let's see if we can do it. Should be easy enough. But um, yeah, so for two and a half years, I worked out in the country and um, on this horse farm. And it was from like... 6 a.m. to whenever, basically. Originally, it was a breeding farm, but when I went there, they they had no breed. They weren't doing any breeding. Um, and originally, the first six months, it was just you had you know you worked in the morning, and and then you know you cleaned all the stalls, you fed all the the horses. It was like a 40 acre farm. So you fed all the horses, you cleaned all the stalls, and it was a show barn, so they had to be like all flat and level, all the walls had to be washed, all the cobwebs had to be removed. Um, not that we had many shows, <laughs> but it was a very beautiful place. And um, then at lunch, you threw down some hay, and oops, we gotta talk to Madeline. And where is Madeline? It's Wednesday, where the heck is she? Um, she's at home, okay. So we'll go find her. Um, and then you had like a five hour lunch break because there was nothing left to do. And then you fed dinner and you were done. I was like, oh, this is the life, man. This is great. I had a room above, uh, in the barn overlooking all the stalls and stuff. It was awesome. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. And in the fall, the owner hired a trainer to start training her horses because she did have some young ones and she wanted to um, to sell and she also wanted to give lessons and whatnot. I was like, okay. Man, I ended up the trainer's groom. That was crazy. I didn't know anything. Okay, let's see. Keep winning competitions. Let's see how bright it can shine. Okay, that's 
all you wanted to talk to me about? Really? All right. But anyway, so I, I had no idea how to be a groom. I had no idea. You know, the first the first trainer wasn't very difficult. He'd get his own horses. I'd help out when he asked me to. Not a problem. And then he left uh, for greener pastures. Um, and the, the next trainer, oh my gosh. He, he, um, he was an interesting fellow. His wife was lovely. They were both from New York. His wife was awesome. Um, she taught me how to ride. I had been thrown and had a really bad experience. So I, was, I, had, a, I had a fear. So she got me over my fear of cantering. Um, but uh, yeah, he, uh, if his horses, he didn't have like two or three, like one ready to go and two waiting. Man, he would throw a temper tantrum like you would not believe. Grown man throwing crap. It's like, oh my god, dude. And he wasn't a small dude either. He was a pretty big, pretty hefty dude. And these were Arabians that we were working on that the farm bred. So <laughs> some of the horses just didn't look like they um, could accommodate him. But you never know. I mean, he, it got to the point where some of the horses became hard to catch. They were like, oh my god, they're bringing me in for this guy to ride me and make me, you know, do X, Y, Z. And they were like, nope. <laughs> One horse, we had to put a 20-foot drag rope attached to her halter. And I still couldn't catch her half the time. She was a quick little devil. I don't blame her, but she was like a wild thing. And, um, she was such a pretty little horse. And, um, man. <laughs> One day I went out to catch her and I saw... Oh, good. Come on. I saw that the trainer was coming and I had just spent 20 minutes trying to catch her. I was getting all frustrated and getting ready to cry because I was upset and because um, I didn't want to be yelled at. <laughs> and um, oops, I don't know what happened to the sound. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought for a second, I was like, what happened? But um, all of a sudden she went to run away again and she got caught up short and I'm looking around like, oh my God, like, who? I was like, whoever caught her, thank you. And I turned around and one of the other horses was standing on the road for me. Just standing there and looking at me, swishing her tail. I was like, oh, honey, thank you. <laughs> what a good girl. So that was really sweet. But yeah, that was an experience. But I got burnt out. I was working 80 hours a week that horse farm especially when that second trainer came he had me working there were times because I had other jobs other than being his groom I had to make the feed I was in charge of you know making at night you'd had to make the breakfast and during right after breakfast you'd have to make the, the evening feed for grain and stuff I did not jump the wrong obstacle do not lie that's the game I did not jump the wrong obstacle sometimes the game does this oh my god Glitch. See, I won. <laughs> there was no other obstacle to jump. Uh, but sometimes doing that, oh my, um, I would be, because the the barn where I lived, well, let's see, he can't shine much brighter than this. He was known for his potential. Maybe the statue has some sort of enchantment. <gasps> oh. Okay. Um, wait. Do I want to do it with this horse or do I want to do it with... What's his name? She's still got 30%. I guess we could do it with her. You can pick what... I'm sorry, I didn't need to do that. You can pick what horse you want to uh, do these statues with. It doesn't have to be this horse. Like if I wanted to do coal, I could ride back, get coal, and come back and get this potential. But I'll do it with her. Um, so you see a mysterious glow imbues antique blossom with potential, but the statue shine fades away. She gets 10% potential. The other statues uh, will give 5% of the ability. So jump, endurance, and speed. 
Sorry, forgot the last one. Speed. <laughs> I am a mush brain today. Oh my goodness. So yeah, now she's got like 50, uh, 30, 40% potential. And you're training just doing this too. Just, I'm just wearing out her energy. See, I got one, one point of endurance. Yay! Why does my phone do this? Every time I'm trying to do something. <laughs> okay. Brush her down. Yep. So she's okay. So she's got 38 potential. Maybe she had. All right. I'm not even gonna. Whatever. <laughs> I I can't keep track of it all. It's fine. We need to bring everything else up at, at time, but it's all right. Um. All right. So I think that's not. We'll do. I'm indecisive. Let's take Cole out. Come on, buddy. We'll do two more races, and then we'll leave it there for right now. I am going to start trying to make some videos for some other games that I play. Um, Y'all may or may not be interested in them. I play Dinkum. I play Sims 4. Um, gosh, I play My Time at Sandrock. Um, there's a bunch of other games that I play, but I may start doing videos for those too. And if you like them, great. If you don't, that's fine. I'll put them under playlists so that everybody can see. Um, and I'll try and keep them short. <laughs> no really long playlists, playthroughs and such. But um, I'm just going to do two races on this guy and uh, then we'll leave it there. As I say, this is just some just some playthrough, not even a, not even a whole thing. I hope it didn't bore anybody with my little stories. I had so many stories. I had a really good time working on that horse ranch, but it literally wore me out and made me sick. Because 80 hours a week is not for the faint of heart. And that was after whoops, that was after working for the Navy for four years. Um, let's do Lupine. Then that was a whole nother adventure. <laughs> uh, the Navy was fun. Surprisingly enough, I never ended up on a ship. That was at a time, this is how old I am, that was at a time when there was only two types of ship, ships that women could go on. Um, oilers or supply ships, and that was it. There were, nowadays they can go on pretty much any ship. Um, back then, no. I was in from 88 to 92. And yeah, those were the only two ships. And I was like, hell no. <laughs> and everybody was like, why'd you join the Navy? I was like, because the Air Force wanted me to lose 10 pounds eating cottage cheese and crackers. And I told them to go, you know what? Because <laughs> I knew I would lose the weight in boot camp. <laughs> so I was like, no, we're walking across the hall. And I did. I walked across the hall. Navy was like, here you go. Sign up. And I'm like, okay. So I spent four years in Yokosuka, Japan. Loved it. That was a great adventure. I did not want to leave, actually. My, my stepmom and dad freaked out. Promised me pretty much anything I wanted. Which, of course, was a lie. But that's okay. They just, oh my god, our daughter's going to be in a foreign country for the rest of her life. It was like, yeah, I had a roommate lined up and everything. <laughs> I was like, yay. I was like, going to get a government job flipping burgers <laughs> on the base. And I said, we'll leave it at that. And just live there, live my happy life in Japan. Because it was, it was really an interesting place. I liked it. I only had a couple of bad experiences, and the majority of the people were more than nice. I mean, they were amazing people. 
super, super nice. I had a, a gentleman, uh, my friends and I were lost. <laughs> we didn't know where we were at a train station. And I love the train system. Oh my God, the train system is awesome. But we were lost. And we had a card that said, in English and in Japanese, help, I need to get back to Yokosuka Naval Base. Can you help me? And he literally took us on the train. He went with us every stop. And we got to this the right station, and he's like, points and says, here you go. Not in English, but in Japanese. He couldn't speak a lick of English. But he made it clear that this is where we were supposed to get off. And it was like, oh my god, thank you so much. So, I mean, it was... It was pretty amazing. I had a lovely time. There was something over here, wasn't there? Yep. Give me. Alright, let's check on our crops and then I will leave it there. Because I know this video is already going over 30 minutes with me rambling on. But I hope you enjoyed it. We're just going to check on our crops. And they're doing pretty good. Let's see, carrots will be ready in two, barley in three, milo in four, corn in four, and the orchard grass will be ready tomorrow. <laughs> of course. I wish you could jump on this character. I'm so used to like dink them, I can jump around. But this is so pretty. Alright. Alright, my dears. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the last half hour. Oops. Hey, hang on. Alright. I need to do this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out, me on hanging out with me. My gosh, hanging out with me on this Wednesday. I greatly appreciate all your time that you spend with me, um, all the views that you give me, and everything, and the likes and the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are wonderful, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much, y'all. Bye now.